Welcome to EDU TV with 4.5 lakh plus viewers and over 1500 educational repositories across the world. The founder is Mr. Pranav Guha Thakarada and co-founder is Ms. Tanya Sefi from India. This is Pranav Guha Thakarada from EDU TV with more than 4.0 lakh viewers and more than 1500 educational repositories with us. Today, we have got two young girls with us and their advocacy for education, higher education is commendable. We would like to welcome Mrs. Rama Dhaya. She is the principal of Delhi Public School, Sirsa, Haryana. Rama ma'am has done a wonderful work out here and she has taken up the school to great level. She is the director of the school. And she, is a school, she, was a, she studied in the famous Beverly Convent, Missouri. She is this in the school from last 20 years. And with us, we have got one more guest with us, very important guest, Ms. Bhalla, Ms. Vani Bhalla. She is heading the admission department of Universal Business School at Karzat, Mumbai. Over to you, Vani. Very good afternoon, uh, and thank you so much, uh, Prana, for this warm welcome. A very good afternoon, Ms. Daya, and thank you so much for taking out time from your busy schedule for this conversation. I would like to uh, ask a few things uh, from you, uh, given you have such an important role in an education sector. Uh, so, uh, I mean, you're, you're heading a school, and what do you feel, ma'am, that uh, what kind of skills uh, nowadays a school should adapt uh, wherein, uh, which will help students uh, in the long run, whether they apply for college, whether they apply for jobs after that. Uh, so do you feel there is a focus uh, and need in skills development or that should start level at the college? Thank you so much. Thank you for a wonderful introduction, sir. Uh, I'm not that young as Vani is, but nevertheless, when you are with students, you always feel young at heart. Thank you so much. And Vani, as you rightly said, we require those... Nowadays, there's a shift in education system with NEP 2020 coming up as well. We are more focused on there's a shift from rote learning to concept learning, right? It is more of competency based learning, more of life skills into it. And if you say life skills and experiential learning coming up in a bigger way that way, we are trying to understand the overall holistic approach of NEP and try to implement that at a grassroots level. So one most important thing NEP advocates is that the life skills are to be taught in school as early as possible. And it is it is implemented as well. It's not like life skills, a set of other curriculum you go to teach in the school. With various activities we are teaching, one of the important, most important life skills is the communication skills. That has been taught in the class. We teach the students how to question, what to question, when to question. And besides these, a lot many activities happening in the school. Like we have debates, declamations, where students get a voice themselves and put their put forth their ideas and their group discussions so many uh, other extracurricular activities we have the music concerts we have the creativity art teams we have sports we have games so all these are ways of inculcating those life skills in them as early as possible where they are learning teamwork they are learning how to manage stress how to manage time morning assembly if there's some supposing a child is absent another child immediately replaces that child and takes over that role these are life skills what they're learning to how to manage how to manage a team how to adjust how to adapt in a certain situation and put yourself at the best pitch for yourself like pitch up in the best possible way so these are skills which which besides academics are taught in the school through various co-curricular and extracurricular activities through various games and yes it is very very important that today the child is not focused only on academics academics is just a part of schooling a lot more goes into it and life skill is one of the major aspects what we should focus and we focus as well because a child may be a very good may be very good at academics he scores very well and then he cracks the competitive exams as well. But then he is not able to withstand that pressure, the stress, the management, the teamwork. Then he'll be a failure in life. So all these skills are to be imparted, are to be taught during the school years. And what we do in school and other schools are also doing the same, I suppose. Right. Uh, you're rightly said, ma'am. So uh, at what level uh, that uh, students have now started getting into these skills uh, learning? Ma'am, as early as class first, second, third, 
fourth, fifth, it is more defined. But yes, they are into sports. They are into creative activities. They are into music. They are into all these right from grade one. But yes, when we define them into various activities, they are divided into, they go for clubs, they go for sports. It is from class fourth onwards, where it is more defined that way. Though in an uh, indirect way, they are being touched upon different life skills as early as grade one itself. Okay, wow, that's so wonderful to know. In fact, even at a Universal Business School, we do uh, 80% exponential learning, uh, which is the future uh, as in we are talking today. Uh, there are a lot of activities which uh, goes behind extracurricular being at one level. We also do smart projects and CSR activities, the whole motto of giving back to the society. Uh, we, through, and through that also students do learn a lot of skills, uh, which we are talking about uh, in this call today. Ladies and gentlemen, as students of Delhi Public School, Bangalore East, we, Ashriya and Melanie, are excited to announce that EduTV has started a movement for higher education for all. We are proud to inform you that corporates and Indian private universities have joined this movement by offering scholarships to eligible schools across the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia, Gulf countries, and Africa. These scholarships are based on merit, sports, extracurricular activities, need-based, principal's recommendation, innovation by students, girl scholars, wards of defense personnel, daughters and sons of teachers, admission aspirants from remote places, South country aspirants, students who studied in war zones, single parent, students with more than two siblings, and students whose parents are not eligible for bank loans. This is a fantastic opportunity for many students and we are thrilled to see the positive impact it will have on their education. We urge other school corporates and universities to join this movement and support, support higher, higher education, education for all. all. Thank you. Welcome to EDU TV with 4.5 lakh plus viewers and over 1,500 educational repositories across the world. The founder is Mr. Pranav Guha Fakarada and co-founder is Ms. Tanya Sefi from India.